Hey everybody, Brett Tadlock, TN Artist here. Welcome to my art channel. I hope you enjoy it here. Today's painting is going to be Fiery Clouds done in Art Rage. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave any questions below if you have them. So let's get started. Um, hey, by the way, I hope you like the new intro. So what I've done here is I've started with a canvas in Art Rage. I just put a uh, base layer down to get rid of the white and it's kind of an off tan color and what I'm doing now is just simply laying in some color to try and start making some clouds and wanted to I know I want the clouds to kind of have a diagonal feel to them in the background so to give it some uh, motion and some dynamic feel to it so that's what I'm doing here is is playing around with that and I realized as I was doing this it wasn't quite uh, doing what I wanted because I was thinking about doing the negative space so I just, then I just started laying down a bunch of color on top of it to kind of fill in exactly what I wanted and get that um, that real feeling of motion with it and I'm just using the oil brush just the standard settings um, for the everlasting oil and blend that out and then what I'm going doing now is going back with the the palette knife and just taking it and blending everything together again it's just the standard setting so there's not anything special that I'm doing here I tried not to play around with the settings too much in Art Rage um, and just use the default tools so that way I can get a real good feel of it I've made a few custom brushes here and there but for the most part I really just want to kind of play around with you know what it feels like uh, to use it just straight out of the box if you will so that's what I'm doing here uh, starting to blur everything in and soften it out and give it that real kind of um, uh, blended ethereal feeling but you can already see some of the dynamic qualities of it where the the motion of the light is is kind of going that that um, diagonal uh, swoop to it if you will it's kind of from the upper left to the lower right um, because I kind of wanted the angle of the clouds to almost give you that feeling of maybe you're flying through the air as you're looking at all this. And so that's what I'm going with here is really trying to get that look to it. So um, I'll just kind of keep blending all these in and, and adding more color. So I have a really uh, orange, brown, yellow kind of background to it here. So what I wanted to do now was start adding in some blues. So you got that complementary color coming in to play with it. So I'm adding in some of those lighter blues, but still fading in the brown from the other parts of it to um, tie it all together. Because I want the shadows to be kind of a brownish gray and the actual uh, clouds themselves to be more of a bluish white in the highlights. So kind of reversing what normally you see. Normally you see more of a, of a um, uh, warm highlight from the sun and then like a cool shadow. So I'm kind of reversing that here and playing around with it. And I've seen a few sunsets like that on occasion and so I was really wanting to try and capture that feel of when you see the clouds at just that right moment where it's like wow that looks really cool you know detailed but not detailed and, and all that so um, so that's what I'm doing here is just kind of doing those in so now here's an interesting fact once I was done with this I actually took it and started uh, adding to this painting and added in some uh, steampunk airships and a kind of a war scene down in the bottom and all that so I have that over in my Etsy shop if you want to take a look at that I'll put the link below as well but um, you know so this painting itself wasn't really done when I finished because the more I looked at it, the more I was like I really want to put more in there and play around with it more so that's what I did I took it from there but anyway going back to this what I'm doing here again is still playing around with the colors of the lights and the darks and adding in some different tones and, and playing around of it. So, but again, just, you know, the oil brush, the palette knife, um, a little bit of airbrush for highlights here and there or pencil, um, but primarily just the oil brush and the palette knife. So playing around with that, as you can see. So what are your thoughts about it? What questions do you have? What um, Something about the techniques or anything like that? I did have somebody ask about doing longer videos where it's more detailed. Um, 
I'm happy to do those, but to be honest, the last set that I did, nobody really kind of watched them, so it was a little disheartening. But if uh, you think that'd be good, let me know, and I'll definitely do it. But as you can see, I'm just adding in some of the different highlights. You can start to see how that bluish gray kind of blends into the brown to give that really cool colors and all that kind of stuff. But um, I hope you enjoyed this at least, that you found it interesting, that you've learned something from it. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave them below. Make sure to hit the bell notification and leave a like and subscribe and hey share this out with people share it across social media for me that'd be a really big help but again i hope you've enjoyed it i know i have and um, i just appreciate you guys all taking the time to watch what i'm doing here so have a great rest of the day and come find me on facebook and instagram and twitter